In fact, science has uh, three types of uh, limits. In fact, the first uh, limit of, of science is the fact that uh, science is not able to explain science. In fact, as Maurice Blondel, the French philosopher, said, science is not sufficient for us because it is not self-sufficient. And I think Eddington said uh, that in fact science explains the universe, but who explains why science works? And the problem is here, the problem of foundation of science. Science explains very well many phenomena, science describes many situations, but the problem is to, to know what are the foundations of science, what are the deep reasons which in fact explain why science is so efficient, why science is working. In fact, the necessary condition for science to, to develop, to, to evolve and to explain. First limit, I think, it is epistemological uh, limits. Science is based on some uh, necessary condition. Without these epistemological uh, conditions, science cannot work. And uh, in fact, science in fact does not explain or does not really justify, give any deep uh, reason which uh, explain uh, what are this condition and why, why are they at work uh, at the root of, of science. This is, I think, a first type of limit and I call for short epistemological uh, limit of, of science. The, the second type of, of limit is in fact uh, is in fact uh, located around uh, the following thing. Science describes the universe. Science gives explanation to many to many uh, phenomena. Uh, but, but science put into brackets the problem of uh, sense, of deep meaning of the universe, the deep meaning of what it describes. And this is in fact a metaphysical uh, problem, because science produces some description of some descriptions of the universe, but uh, what is the deep meaning of this? Is there any meaning? And if any, what's the real meaning of the the deep sense of the of the universe? And in fact, this problem is is metaphysical is beyond the description of the physics of, of nature. But this problem has a, a great importance for philosophers because uh, it is a metaphysical problem is essential in fact. For example, science describes the evolution of the universe, describes life, life evolution, but and describe, for example, a human being. But what's, what's the meaning, if any, what's the deep meaning of the universe, of the life, of, of, uh, the, of human being, of, of his thought, and, and so on. In fact, science describe, but in fact avoid the question of deep finality, if any, deep meaning, if any, and so on. And metaphysics can, in fact, answer this uh, question, can, can give some answers to this uh, problem. But science, it, it is not the question that science is, is not enough powerful uh, on, on, its, on its 
plane on its own field, science is, is very powerful. But in fact, methodologically, science uh, in fact refused to enter in this meta metaphysical uh, field. But this this question are very essential. Then a second time of, of limit uh, of, of science is, is the fact that uh, science cannot uh, for methodological reason enter in the field we, which is uh, very important of metaphysical uh, question. And the third type of limit is in fact uh, is in fact uh, can be in fact located at a ethical uh, level. In, in fact, uh, when science is working, in fact, it produces many uh, uh, procedures of action. In fact, uh, science is action. But, uh, and, and in fact, when we are in a, la la in a lab, uh, we, we can planify some experiment and so on, but, but experiment, for example, on human being, experiment on some uh, organism, uh, ad address, addresses immediately ethical question. And in fact, uh, science describe but is not uh, able to pres prescribe something. In fact, science gives many very interesting descriptions, but in fact, in science, you have, uh, you have never something we, which uh, prevents some uh, action. Uh, in fact, in science, it lacks some deep moral or ethical assessment. In fact, science avoids also this problem of ethical assessment, but ethical question, re questions related to science are in fact of major importance for, for human beings, for the society, uh, for, uh, and even for uh, the scientist himself as a person, but in fact, in biology or in, in physics, there there is some element to to think about ethical implication of some action. But science is not ethics, and when uh, science is trying to to in fact capture some uh, ethical problem uh, at its own level, then. Uh, limits appear because uh, in fact ethics addresses the problem of the meaning of, of the actions and this deep meaning of actions uh, is not well and is not uh, described by science. For example uh, uh, let us let us think, for example, about the problem of the di dignity of, of the person. In fact, dignity, the, uh, to respect the dignity of human being is very uh, important. It is one of the foundation of uh, democratic societies and so on. But in fact, dignity is not a scientific concept. But in some experiment, uh, you have the problem to, to know if this experiment respects or not the dignity of, of the person. It is an ethical question addressed by uh, science. But uh, nowhere in science you have a definition, a real definition of, of dignity and what dignity means and so on. But it is a kind of limit of science. Science, in fact, cannot explain or cannot uh, assess correctly uh, ethical uh, problem, ethical dilemma, questions, uh, and so on. Uh, in fact, as a summary, I, I, I could say that science on its own uh, feel 
uh, at his own uh, level uh, does not encounter uh, many limits if you want. In, in fact, for example, uh, what we, we could call limits of, of science due to some impossibility to go beyond, uh, beyond the, the, the speed of life uh, uh, and, and so beyond the constraint of Heisenberg relations are in fact not real uh, limits. In fact, these things are in fact laws of, of nature and uh, in fact uh, it is not for me real limits. On, on its own, in its own field, science does not uh, in, in fact face many limits and can develop uh, in fact step by step uh, but, but the real limit are in fact uh, the, three, the three problems I, um, I describe. Uh, science cannot completely justify why it works, why it is efficient, uh, cannot uh, self-explain, if you want, uh, its own foundation, first type of limit. Uh, in, for example, science is based on reality, science is based on the notion of truth, and so on, but what is, in fact, the justification and the foundation of the concept of reality, the concept of truth, and so on. We need some uh, explanation to, to justify the necessity to, to call for a concept of reality, truth, uh, and so on. But science is not able to, to give by itself a justification. As Maurice Blondel said, science is not sufficient for us because it is not self-sufficient, if you want. Second type, uh, in fact, the problem, the question of meaning. Science describes many phenomena, explains many things, but in fact, uh, avoid completely and methodologically the problem of the deep meaning. You describe the universe, but is there any meaning, deep finality to, to the universe? In fact, this question escapes. Uh, in fact, this question, uh, in fact, goes out the, the limit of, of science. But it is, in fact, question methodologically avoided by science. And, and finally, science De describe and explain, but it cannot give the basis for, it, it cannot explain, uh, in fact, solve ethical problem uh, it itself uh, generates. For example, many, many important questions for human beings and for the, the human societies are produced, are stimulated by uh, scientific practice, but, in fact, science has no, uh, has no tools to really uh, give uh, a moral meaning to some, to some action or to decide what is ethically correct uh, or, or not. Uh, but, in fact, all, all these limits, in fact, are limits in, in fact, other dimension uh, than, than the other dimension of uh, uh, the scientific methodology. Maybe I can use this image. You, you have uh, here the, uh, a table and, 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 and the, the table is in fact, for example, the, the, the space in which methodologically the, uh, the, the science is uh, growing is evolving, but in fact science is growing on on this surface, if you want, 
symbolizing its own methodological field, but uh, science cannot see uh, problems in other directions. For example, in the vertical di direction, science is not able to, to see uh, something. It does not mean that, in fact, th there, are, uh, there are limits in the plane. No, the, the plane, the surface has, has no limits methodologically, but in fact the, the limit are due to the fact that science is not able to see in other direction. In the metaphysical direction, for example, in the ethical direction. But uh, pay attention, it does not mean that metaphysical and ethical problems are not maybe rooted in, in this description. It is very important to describe a situation in, uh, by science in, in order to prepare ethical assessment. It is very important as a preliminary to metaphysics to know something about the universe. But, but metaphysics cannot be reduced to science and ethics cannot be reduced to science. And when we try to reduce metaphysics to science, to pure methodological science or ethics to pure scientific problem, then in fact it produces some kind of internal uh, problems. Just because uh, science is, is not the, the, the right place uh, to address such a question. Science has no limit in its own plane, but science uh, does not go out this plane and in the metaphysical and ethical uh, direction there are many many questions uh, generated by science but, uh, but in fact which cannot solve by science itself. This is the first way to, uh, to address this question of, of limits of, of science. But uh, of course it is not the last word about this very fundamental question.